All right, so module number three, I wanna talk all about conversions and retargeting, what they are, how to set them up, and why you need to use them. So what is retargeting and what is conversion tracking, first of all? Well, retargeting is essentially following up with potential, vi <laughs> following up with potential buyers via ads if they didn't buy from you or interacting with an audience that already knows you. So there's a number of ways you can retarget. I'll break down those when we get into the targeting options. Uh, I'd actually break them down here as well, but um, or on this module. But retargeting, basically, let's say somebody hits your, they see your ad, they click over to your website and they're like, oh man, maybe I should buy this. And they're getting ready to buy it and their kid spills a glass of orange juice and they're like, oh no, have to run over and clean that up and they completely forget that they were gonna buy and then life goes on, right? You've just lost somebody who would have bought. Well, retargeting, and Amazon's great at this, is basically you can pixel them and I'll show you how to set those pixels up in this module. You can pixel them and essentially what's gonna happen is they are they get pixeled and then you can send them over or you can run a new ad to them to be like, hey, you forgot this, you didn't get this, or what happened, kids spilled your orange juice or something like that, uh, and basically follow them around. Now, you can also interact with an audience that knows you by uploading an email list. Um, you know, you can target website visitors. There's a number of ways to do that, but let's say, you know, I have an email list. I can upload my whole email list and run traffic to that. Uh, then conversion tracking is essentially a way for us to know how our campaign is performing and exactly what is going on with that campaign. Uh, if we don't have conversion tracking set up before we start running an ad, we have no idea if we've made any sales or conversions and we are literally flying blind and wasting our money. So let's jump over to AdWords. I'm going to show you how to set all of this up real quick. So here we are on AdWords or actually Google Ads. Sorry, they just changed it. It's still AdWords.Google.com, but it's called Google Ads now. So what we're going to do over here, and you can see right here, what I want to show you is uh, right here, you can see this campaign I'm running today. You can see registration right here uh, for Video Ads Masterclass this is my um, my ad I'm running. So today I'm actually paying quite a bit compared to yesterday. Um, yesterday I was paying six dollars and ninety five cents a registration. Today I'm paying eight dollars and ninety cents. But I've also made a sale today for um, I made a nine ninety seven sale and it only cost me two hundred and eighty four dollars to make said sale. Uh, and yesterday we made a sale too, but for some reason the conversion tracking pixel did not fire, which is why I have multiple um, checks in place. But basically this is a, a very solid way to track. Every once in a while it doesn't fire, but whatever. So. What we're looking at here is, uh, you know, these are my conversions right here. So you can see um, I've had 32 people convert or 32 opt-ins for $8.90 an opt-in and one purchase for $284. That's what it cost me to make. So this is conversion tracking right here. And this is kind of how they're going to show up. And we'll talk about this in the uh, reporting module, but I just wanted to show that. So for now, what we're going to do is we're going to come up here. We're going to click this tools button and we're going to come over here to measurement and then click conversions. So we'll start off by setting up conversions. Now, as you can see, we've got a lot of conversion tracking in here. Uh, and if we kind of go like whatever, like last 30 days or something, you can see the um, the number of sales. So like we've actually, the Video Ads Masterclass sold like uh, I've, in the last 30 days, I've done like 30 or whatever, $26,000 in conversions. Uh, and actually a little bit better than that because some of these, like I said, have not tracked. And we've got 3,760 people registered. So you can see these conversion tracking pixels in here, how they work. So what we're going to do is we're just going to click plus conversion right here. And then we're going to come over here and we're going to choose what we want. I usually track websites. So we're going to go to website. Uh, and then we're just going to name this. So this would be like a test pixel or something like that. Uh, category would be a purchase or a sale, a sign up, a lead, a view of a key page or an other. This is literally just for your um, your reference. So like, let's say it's a sale. We'll just choose that. Uh, then the value, do we want to use the same value for each conversion or do we want to use a different value for each conversion? If we want to use a different value, you're going to have to click this learn more and it's going to help you uh, do some custom coding in here. Uh, you can see right over here, there's a little bit of custom coding on your end. It's not that hard to do. So just read that. Um, but we're just going to go, you know, we'll go like $1 or like, for example, video as masterclass was $9.97 or 366 depending on the sale it's made and I'm able to track that through my platform. So we'll just go 997. Uh, we're going to count every sale or one sale. So um, I usually go one. That way it's not like counting multiple conversions for the same person, but it's up to you. Um, conversion window. How long do we want to track? Um, view through conversion window, including conversions and last click. So we'll just click create and continue. Um, dun, dun, dun. 
and this is going to take us here and then we can either use the Google Tag Manager this works extremely well um, but it, that's a little bit more advanced so if we just want to install the tag ourselves which I usually do just because if I'm putting it on a single page it's easy I just go okay so then you're going to look at these things so we got the global site tag this is going to go in your header and so in the head of your page depending on your website builder this is going to like it's going to be different where you put or where you can actually get to um, where you can actually get to the head section. So that depends on your page builder or what you're using. I know ClickFunnels is pretty easy to do, uh, all that stuff. So you can use this. You're basically gonna put this on every single page you wanna track. Um, you only need to install it once per account, blah, blah, blah. So then uh, event snippets. This is what's actually gonna fire the event snippet. So it'll be either a page load or a click of a button. So a page load is what I'm usually gonna have. And this conversion tracking pixel will go on the thank you page, right? So we'll just put this in the head also. Um, and that's it. So from there, we basically just put these two things in the head of our page, and that's just going to fire this little uh, JavaScript when somebody hits our thank you page. So they opt into our our um, they opt into our webinar, for example. They'll hit a thank you page. Hey, thanks for opting in. Here's your link to join the webinar. This pixel will fire, and then it'll show up as a conversion. Right. So that's exactly how to do it. You can email the tag and it's got all the directions as well and we're good to go. Right. So that is how we do conversions. I'm just going to delete that real quick. Dun, dun, dun. Let's go delete both of these. All right, cool. Um, then let's get into the audiences. So we're just going to go to tools again right here up in the top right hand corner and we're going to come over to shared library audience manager. Now this is where we get into retargeting. Now we want to set up retargeting before our campaign as well. Uh, so remember we put our thing or pixels on the pages we want to track that people see after they, um, you know, that the people see after they take the action we want them to take. So then we get over here into remarketing. So we can, uh, first thing first, we can put a pixel on the page, which we should do. So we'll go audience sources and we're just gonna go details. It'll say Google ads tag, we'll click details. And then under here, it's gonna be tag setup. So we're gonna click this tag setup and right here, it's a global site tag. It's the exact same thing that you saw earlier, that global site tag. And if this is already on your pages, you're good to go, but you wanna put this on the pages of the, or the in the head of the pages you want to track. So if we want to retarget people that didn't opt in to our webinar, we'll put this on the registration page, right? So this will go on the registration page and then we have the conversion tracking and we can exclude people that have converted uh, and just run to these people or we just run it to everybody that hit the page, it's up to you. So this is where you get the global site tag, you add that and we are good to go. You can see I've had like 23,000 people in the last 30 days hit mine is how that works. So that's a, that's our audience tag. So then we come over here to our audience list again and we can create a number of remarketing lists. We could do website visitors. So once we put that tag on, we're gonna go visitors of a page. Um, URL contains, and it might be like BAMC registration or something. This will come from your URL. So like up here, it's like adwords.google.com. It might, you know, it's whatever. So you can put this on the page you wanna track and then say, all right, I wanna include people from the last 30 days. And how long do you want it to stay? Up to 540 days. And then you just add your own little description, create the audience, and you're good to go. And then what's gonna happen is it's gonna be like, all right, you know, uh, if they registered for the webinar, here's here's those two lists that I have right here. Or, um, you know, they hit my sales page. Here's the people that hit the sales page. And then, so I put this on my Video Ads Masterclass sales page. So when somebody hits that, I can run a retargeting ad to them and be like, hey, you didn't pick it up. Um, you know, so that, that's the things we're gonna set up at first. Uh, and then we can actually uh, do things like YouTube users and then customer lists as well. Customer list is great. You basically upload emails right here. So that's all you have to do to set these up. You just wanna make sure you have your retargeting pixels in the right spots, remarketing as Google calls it. Uh, retargeting pixels on the right pages, on all your pages you wanna track, as well as conversion tracking. And that is what you're gonna set up before you set your campaign up.